hi people welcome to my kitchen today I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to make a delicious rice dish in few minutes very delicious very little effort very flavorful so here I have washed basmati rice I've washed it thoroughly and in here I have some mixed veg peas uh, sweet corn and some carrots I have seasoned chicken here I have onion and pepper I have my seasoning here this is a chicken seasoning salt and some parsley and here I have a can of cream of chicken soup so this is all I need to make this quick rice dish that will be done in like 10 to 15 minutes so if you want to see how I went from this to this keep watching so I'm going to start off by um, heating up my pan for a few seconds and then I'm going to add in my seasoned chicken. After that has burned for about five minutes, I'm going to take out the chicken and put it into a container and set it aside. Then we proceed with cooking the rice. Okay, so this is my chicken. It's not fully cooked; it's just nicely browned. Um, I'm going to set this aside and we'll start cooking the rice. Okay, now that the chicken is out, I'm going to add my rice. In my container and then my cream of chicken soup straight into the pot and add that for the rice. Next, I'm going to add in my chopped onion and chopped pepper. You can use as much onion and pepper as you like. And finally, I'm going to add in my chicken seasoning, salt, and my parsley. I'm a little bit light on the salt because you have to remember that the chicken soup has a little bit of salt in it already. So you don't want it to get too salty and too overpowering. So I'm just going to do that. And then to that, I will add back my chicken. Uh, to the pot because remember it wasn't fully cooked when we took it I would just brown it uh, so I'm adding the chicken back into the pot one thing you should also be aware of you don't actually need to use cream of chicken soup you can use cream of uh, tomato soup you can use regular chicken soup vegetable soup whatever it is the chicken doesn't have to be chicken it could be just a strict vegetarian option you can use uh, chunky veggies like broccoli things like that um, just make it yours and make it as interesting as you would like so now I'm just going to cover it and allow it to do its thing for about 10 minutes then I'll come back and check on it so it's been 10 minutes literally because basmati rice doesn't take a long time to cook so it's time for us to check out our rice. Look at that. Gorgeous. So it's pretty much uh, soft. Let me check it. Yeah, it's still a bit firm, but it's fine. And I'm still going to spend some time steaming for another few minutes. But it's a good time to add the veggies now. So let's add the veggies. Okay, so I'm going to add in my veggies. You can add as much or as little as you want. The veggies is not uh, compulsory, but it's a nice addition. I also noticed that it needs a little bit more salt, so I'll be adding a bit more salt as well. And then I'm just going to. And don't be like me, next time use a bigger pot. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is exactly what I had in mind. I've done this several times with pasta, but this is my first time doing this with rice and I am loving the results. So this is for those times where you want to have something wholesome but you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Uh, obviously it's helpful that if you, if you have um, seasoned chicken 
already in your freezer if you don't you can use things like prawns shrimps whatever you have on hand or you don't have to use any form of um, meat at all you can just use veggies or sausages or whatever you have on hand so yeah that is it that is our gorgeous looking rice i'm just going to allow that to steam for about two three minutes and then we'll plate that now it's time to plate our rice so i have my plate there i'm just going to give myself a nice general serving very generous because I'm going to be adding as much chicken as my spoon will take. Small chicken from the road. <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't that look good enough to eat? I'm so happy the way this rice turned out. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of parsley. And now for the taste test. Mm. You really should try this. And the creaminess from the chicken soup really comes through as well. Let me try the chicken. So soft so tender really really nice this is a must try recipe thanks for watching